Okie dokie, it's been about 24 hours since I put my mushed up juniper berries in here. Juniper berries, health food shops, uh, baking section and supermarkets. You can get them in the UK. I got these in a health food shop and it was a tub of 100 grams. Here's my bloody eyesight. 100 grams cost me about £2.50. So it's not a massive expense. Right, now get. Oh, by the way, my molasses mix, I did think, has it fucked up? Has it gonna, is it gonna work or not? Right. In here, all I've got is my coffee filter. I don't like reusable, I don't like disposable stuff. So I like having a nice permanent filter. That way, I can just run this through there just to get the bits out and the lumps. Dee, dee, dee. Nothing fancy. Oh yeah, um, the molasses, I was worried it might be working because it's been in the air and cupboard now for, today's Wednesday, so it's been there since Friday. And I was a bit concerned it might not be doing anything. I didn't want to keep poking it because that lowers the temperature in the iron cupboard because I hate having the heating on. But I've noticed this background smell in the house has increased and it's not the normal fermentation smell but it's the molasses it's more of a clingy smell to the back of your throat but it's building up in the house so <laughs> yeah it's working the juniper berries i've got left in here i'm not going to throw them out i've got eight liters of my brown spirits to play with so what i might do is put these bits the berries into um, some of that brown sugar mix I've got, as I've got a fair bit of it. But I'll see how this tastes first. So I've never done this before. I've only been doing spirits for the past, well, I've only done two batches, the white sugar batch and the brown sugar. Never enough containers. Right, that looks, the colour is really different. I'm not going to say it's a piss colour, but it um, definitely has colour to it. Nice little smell. Holy shit. That is a massive difference. Yeah, that is a big Big difference. Yep, that's a success. I'd be worried about leaving it in too long. If it makes that big of a difference in the flavour, and that is a massive difference in flavour, in 24 hours, leaving it for longer would probably be too much for me. Yep. If I were to do that again, I'd put less juniper berries in. For a 70 CL bottle, I don't know, maybe one or two berries scrunched up for 24 hours. Because otherwise you end up with like too much of a perfumey type flavour. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. Right, what I'm going to do, as I don't like waste, because I've got the berries in there, and they've still got plenty of flavour in them, I'm going to chuck them and split it between... Actually, what I'm going to do, because what I've got... This is my brown sugar mix. So I've got some in glass bottles. And I ran out of decanters and bottles. So I got to go and buy a demijohn for the uh, molasses mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in maybe a berry each into my glass decanters. <coughs> Excuse me. That is really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to put a berry each into the glass decanters. They, they each hold about 75 to 1 litre. And I'll just put it in there and leave it and forget about it. And that should give a really nice flavour. So yeah, 
Um, that's a really nice... I'm not going to drink the whole fucking glass. It's about 30, late 30s percentage-wise. Just so you can see the colour. That is really nice. Um, yeah, I think that was about seven or eight berries. Slightly scrunched up, minced up, in there for 24 hours. Next time I'd say two berries, 24 hours, slightly scrunched up. Yep, that is a bit strong. <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice way to make gin. Yeah, that's really nice. There's none of the complicated flavours you get in stuff you buy in the shops that I've never done before. But I have had the little mixer things you put into a neutral spirit that makes it taste like gin. And there's too many things in the background going on. Whereas this, it is just juniper berries in a white sugar wash spirit distillation. And it's really nice. So, um, yeah, experiment successful. Because in the background, my other experiments.